Microsoft. We are at MegaCon. We just picked up our press passes. MegaCon Orlando 2024, it's going down. I've been talking about this nonstop for how long? A few weeks now? We have the Stranger Things panel on Sunday. We have a comic book movie panel on Saturday. And on Friday, we are talking how to grow a nerdy movie YouTube channel. Now, this doesn't matter because all of this information will be out after the fact. <laughs> but we're here now about to head in. I'll be vlogging the whole thing. So hit the like button, subscribe, that notification bell. And this is going to be one for the books. All right, it's going down. Can't wait. We're walking in now. Okay, Went from, <laughs> we, we, it just got real quiet right when I started filming. That's crazy. I've been to my fair share of cons over the past three years, and this one, without a doubt, is like the biggest. It's like triple the size of my local one. Easily the biggest convention center I've ever been to. If I went to San Diego Comic Con, I don't know if I could handle that. There's multiple Stranger Things 4 pops from the new wave that I haven't gotten. They have Dust in here uh, and the Upside Down with like his shield for battle. They have Nancy with shotgun and a few others. So there's there's a bunch I need to pick up, but I don't know if I pulled the trigger over here four days. So I maybe pick up one or two. Of the season four pops that I would have Gaten sign, which I'm gonna give him to sight on I think Saturday, I'm leaning the thinking cap as opposed to the upside down battle version. You'll see at some point in this video. A few moments later. All right, so we've been walking around. You guys know if you follow my con vlogs for any time, these things are 90% walking more than anything. But just picked up this ticket to get our autograph for Michael J. Fox. I have a Funko Pop of the classic Marty and the classic Doc. They're gonna look so clean when I get them. Got the Michael J. Fox ticket. That's in about an hour and 15 minutes. There's a wild cam in the background. But um, the celebrity autograph area itself here feels bigger than like most conventions as a whole that I've been to. But yeah, Michael J. Fox is signing in one of those tents. You guys can see kind of back behind me. And so same deal with Joseph Quinn. It's insane that Joseph Quinn's autographs are on the same scale of Michael, Michael J. J. Fox. <laughs> Insanity. But we've seen a lot of people cosplaying, Cam. Let's talk about this. Healthy debate. We've seen a lot of Michael J. Fox cosplays as Marty. There's an orange vest See, over there. and that's not accurate. That looks dumb. No, that looks good. And there's that red vests, but the he red is muted. like cherry red. So no one seems to have a screen accurate cosplay. I'm about apparent. to go up to every Marty McFly <laughs> cosplayer that I see at this convention. Because I sent a picture to Jenna of like three people in red vests. And she was like, see, the kids looks red, but the guy next to him looks orange. Yeah. Hey, they were both the same color. I don't know. I'm about to go up to every single person and say, hi, what color is the vest that you're wearing? Make it an interview series. I'm gonna. For your vlog. I'm Check gonna. out Cam's vlog for that. But uh, the next time I see you guys, I might have a Michael J. Fox autograph in about an hour and 15 minutes. Other than that, we're just kind of chilling, waiting out. The line for Christopher Lloyd's insane. So, I mean, we might get in it, but I don't want to be waiting in a line all day, too. Okay, Cam's about to have an update. A few hours later. Update time. It is many hours later. And you might be wondering, Chris, why have you not been vlogging day one? We were standing in line for how two and a half hours, roughly. I'd say at least two. At least two, and I'm not exaggerating. Of us just standing in line because we were waiting for Michael. Michael J. Fox's autograph, who plays Marty McFly, the legend. And we were waiting in line, waiting in line, waiting in line. They even delayed like this big panel he was gonna be on, because I guess they're just behind today or whatever, but eventually we got it. Boom. Got a Funko Pop signed by the legend himself. It's unfortunate, but I mean, Michael J. Fox's condition is not the best yeah, right now. Yeah, obviously. It's awesome to see this legend in person, but you're like separated from him. So you see him sign it, but you don't get to say hi even. That's a bummer, but I also get it. You know, his he condition's like, worse. Yeah. So it's sad. I mean, he's a legend. I love him. We all do. Rooting for him in his battle with Parkinson's, but it's just sad and it's like, man, you know? Um, but I'm really appreciative that I got this opportunity it's and he like got to sign it. It's like honorary to the point yeah. of a franchise that you love. 100%. He's the legend and we were going to meet Christopher Lloyd today, but his line was out the wazoo and we had to prioritize Marty McFly. So we're going to get that tomorrow. We bought like a QR code ticket and they were like, don't worry, you can still redeem this. So that's good. We're going to get that tomorrow. No worries. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And this is only day one in the books. We got a police escort through Megacon. 
a kid. A few moments later. All right, so we are walking out of Megahun right now. It's like we're in the desert because it's that Florida heat during the day. I'm cold. And it's like, it feels amazing right now. Like I could cry, beautiful weather. I'm cold. In Florida to feel this good, it's like in the 50s, brisk, there's a wind. College football should be on, but what can you do? Most of today was waiting for Michael J. Fox. I have a lot of like montage footage as well. I got a surprise. Cam got a surprise. My friend Andrew, also known as Wafello. Also known as one half of the Escape Pop podcast. Yes, he has a podcast with his fellow friend Alex, aka Hack Guy. They have a podcast called the Escape Pop Podcast. If you listen to our podcast, we talk about them every once in a while. Um, they're great. I love them. Oh, someone's car alarm's going off. Thief, shoplifter. He jump scared me at MegaCon with like 16 Bucky questions, and he was like, "Answer these now!" And he rapid fired them at me. I got all 16 of them. And he gave me a signed Sebastian Stan Winter yeah, Soldier literally Funko Pop. Insane. What the heck? For, For those car. wondering, we are. <laughs> We have no clue where we are. We're in the parking lot trying to find our car, but we're out here. Post MegaCon day one. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., first panel. Kind of nervous, kind of excited. It was Cody Leach, who you guys know, and Sean okay. Chandler, How to Grow a Nerdy YouTube channel. It's like 8.30. The time really slipped away. We're going to go get some dinner, but um, that does it for day one. I'll have more footage tomorrow because we'll be doing more. But we're at the car. See you guys day two. The next day. It is day two of MegaCon. I'm on my phone. Panel number one for me is here. How to Grow a YouTube channel. It's going down. Hope to see you there if you're there. Yeah. Nervous, excited. It's about to go down. Here we go. The, the panel has begun. Like, Sean is speaking right like now. Like Cody's up it's now. Cool. Cody and Sean, I'm next. Nerves are kicking in. You can make one idea into a long form video and a short form video. So if you review Argyle, you can do a short review, you can do an out of theater reaction, and they can also do that as a long form and um, a two long form videos. So you're getting four videos, two shorts, two long The panel went well, How to Grow a Nerdy Movie YouTube channel. It will be posted fully on Sean Chandler's channel, I believe. Today, we actually did get John Rice Davies, or John Reese Davies, who plays Sala and Gimli. Um, and we had a great interaction, I'll put it right here. Hello. Nice to meet you. Big fan of Indiana Jones. Uh, Sala is one of my favorites. He's a great character. And I love in Raiders of the Lost Ark that scene where he talks to Indy and he says, I call him Belloc. Belloc. We call him Belloc. 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 That made me laugh so hard at the delivery of the line. There's my favorite scene. It's right. Bad dates. Bad dates. What do you do for a living? Uh, I actually do YouTube content creation, talking about movies and TV shows. Indiana Jones being one. <laughs> so yeah. It's a lot of fun, I enjoy it. Avoid bad dicks. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> My um, first time seeing you in anything was actually The Princess Diaries 2. Love those movies. And I suppose you think that that little bitch deserves <laughs> to be queen? I do, I do. <laughs> yes, well of course you would. Because you don't, rec you don't recognize aristocratic breeding when you see it. I'm tired of talking to the common people about this. <laughs> So nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. We're really trying to get Christopher Lloyd's autograph because it was super difficult yesterday. But no, I've been walking around. We're actually going to a Universal After Hours event tonight that we found out about last night. It's a really good deal for like after hours access to the parks. It's crazy. So I might vlog some at Universal tonight. We'll see what happens. A few hours later. All right, so it's a madhouse out here today and it's only Friday. It has me thinking that tomorrow is going to be the craziest day I've ever experienced. Not lying, probably waited three plus hours for Christopher, almost four hours for Christopher Lloyd, so the majority of my day after that panel this morning was waiting. Standing in line is not the most entertaining thing. I almost broke. I legitimately almost broke down in tears at one point, but we made it and it was worth it. And that's the final product. There it is. Christopher Lloyd, the man. All right, Scott, one for it, Marty. 1.21 chickens. He's the man. So we're heading out of day two. Busy day tomorrow. Stranger things, people are coming. Big panel at one o'clock, so lots of footage. Looking forward to it. The next day. It's day three, Saturday at MegaCon, the busiest day without question. It's a madhouse, wall to wall people, shoulder to shoulder. If you don't like crowds, don't come to MegaCon on Saturday, but big panel at 1 p.m. with Sean, Holden Hardman, Adam does movies, Cody Leach, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're tired, we trudge through. Slam, might meet Gaten and Finn today. How you doing? Tired. All right, so we're here in Gaten and Finn are back there. It looks like they have really, really, really long lines right now, but the con did open not too long ago. Now, I have a panel at 1.30, so I don't think I'm going to be able to wait in line soon, but uh, we're going to get these autographs no matter what. What's the update? Live? Gaten and Finn are both there. Finn's, like, talking to people, like, not fans. He's talking to people, like, that work at So he's probably about to start up. I ready. guess. Gaten is there. It's hard to tell how far he's going. I kinda is he wearing a yellow hoodie, Gaten? No, that's okay. Finn. Gaten is like sitting down signing autographs and talking right, to people. No, um, it's hard to gauge how fast he's going. I'll probably ask somebody in line like how long they've been waiting. Yeah, because I, I said I have the panel in an hour 30. Yeah, so I'll go ask somebody. We'll figure it out. Update soon.
live update from Cam, you're hearing it just like I am. I talked to this lovely group of people um, waiting in line for gate, and they're about halfway in back gate. from the like they're the first like in the first line. Yep. I asked them, I was like, how long have you been waiting? Like, where did you start? And how long have you been waiting? They said they've been here since ten. They were like in about like the third line, and yep. now they're halfway through the first. Um, they so said, they've moved good. Yeah. So they've moved about three lines in two hours, which you know, they're long lines. Long as um, they said originally they were in Finn's line, and then Finn was taking forever, so they moved to Gaten. Now Gaten's taking a while, but I think that's mostly because of like VIPs and stuff. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to. What, what do we do? I mean, I have that panel. Well, There's we, no point getting. Let's in line. relax and chill for the morning. Okay. Panel after panel, we'll focus on autographs. Sounds good to me. That's sick. A few moments later. All right, so we're out here about to go on our panel of the day, the comic book movie talk. I'm joined by fellow YouTubers Adam and Cody. So we're gonna go down the horn. Favorite comic book movie of the decade so far. So from 2020 to now, what's your pick? Uh, I'm just gonna straight up say, it. whoa, oh my god. <laughs> They're excited for my answer, you. yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy. I'm, okay. I'm cheating right out yeah. of the game, so I'm saying the trilogy. There you go. Cody, what about you? Mine is easily the one that's on your shirt, the Batman. Yes. Like, I'm a Batman fanatic. One of the points that I may make on this panel is that for all the great Batman movies we've gotten, there's only been two that are truly Batman movies. The others are villain movies that star Batman. Yeah. That was a true Batman movie. It kicked off a brand new universe. There's, I had nothing negative to say yeah, about yeah. it, and that is not something that well, I do. Plus, you're a big Twilight fan, so seeing <laughs> Edward <laughs> in the new role is yeah, all that's muscular. Why not? Yeah, emo. That's what I need in my life. <laughs> As much as I love this, my favorite, call it nostalgia, call it fan service, Spider-Man No Way Home. Such a joyous time, and uh, it's a memory I'll always cherish, so yeah. Stay tuned for the full panel coming soon. Just been standing in line for like an hour for Gaten, got another hour to go, but that's the world of cons, just standing in line. A few hours later. After a few hours of standing in line, nothing compared to Christopher Lloyd, we have met Gaten Matarazzo and Finn Wolfhard. There you have it right there. I will insert interactions with both of them. Starting with Gaten though. Nice to meet you, Chris. Yes. I'm, I'm Gaten. I've been a fan of Stranger Things my whole life. Oh, thanks, dude. Growing up with the show yeah. in the way. Like, Hell yeah, like pretty much. Me too. And so it's, it's been really, yeah. it's been yeah. something yeah. crazy for um, sure. I actually have a YouTube channel based around Stranger Things. No way! Yeah. Oh, very cool. I love them. Oh, heck yeah. I'll make sure that I uh, yeah. keep an ear out. Yeah. That sounds awesome. It's cool. at 10 and bright and early 10. Bright and early. I think I gotta get to my table at 10 because I have a panel at noon. You do. I think months at noon. Noon 45. Five. That's right. This is a really cool yeah, one. I gotta get so that good. one. Perfect. Thank you. Show it I on came your up channel with the purple idea. Amazing. Of the oh, yeah. I, I don't know if it's recording. Say, it's recording for the channel. I wanted to say, love Stranger Things, obviously, but I'm also a big Thanks. like theater nerd. Me too. And I think you're fantastic. Thank you so much. You and uh, Sweet Todd, mm -hmm. incredible. Thanks. Like, the I had so like, much fun over there. Like, Dang, one of my favorite songs of all time. Absolutely. Thank you. I had fun doing it. Oh, yeah. Let's do one real quick. Yeah, before my agent yells. Okay. I appreciate it. Pleasure nice to meet you. you. Super nice. Just like, doesn't he just exude Broadway energy in the best way? He's a Tony winner in my heart. He is the best. He's like a 37 year old man, and that's and I don't mean that in a degrading way. He's just no, like, he's precious. He's a very mature, precious dude. His mannerisms, he cares. He's inquisitive, and we got to meet him. He signed the Funko in purple. It looks glorious, as you Shout can see out to right who? here. For coming up with it? Shout out to Camp for thinking of the purple. I was like, blue or red? And you were like, purple. And I was like, yeah, it matches the the like color of the thinking cap font. And then we met Finn Wolfhard in his line. We only waited like 15 minutes. It was immediately after Gate. And there it is right there. We got to interact with him. So we're actually at the very front of Finn Wolfhard's line. And right when we got up to his autograph, he went to go for like two minutes to the bathroom or something. Literally at the front. There's the whole line. We wait. But there you go. Nice to meet you. Big fan of the show. Oh, thank you, man. You obviously love being on it. Oh, man. But stoked for season five. Thank you so yeah. much, dude. Uh, that's awesome. I actually have a YouTube channel where I talk all straight to Oh, really? We're doing a panel here for Oh, really? That's awesome. Season five here. Oh, sweet, dude. What's what's the channel? It's called Film Stop. Film Stop. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, is it all about Stranger Things or is it? It's, right now, it's mainly Stranger okay. Things. Okay. Right so, like, yeah. season five theories and news. Will Eddie return on stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome, yeah. man. You're a big fan of Ghostbusters, too. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm a big fan of Stranger Things, but I also love the 
go to special communities. I'm really excited for the next one. Oh man, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I'm excited to say I haven't seen it yet. So. Oh really? Oh, super excited. <laughs> yeah. It's, okay. I mean, it's coming out soon. Yeah, so. I know. Oh, yeah. It's like March. Yeah, review. March twenty second. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice to, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice Thanks, guys. Got it signed in red. He's really cool, also. And um, talked, you know, season five. He even asked, like, oh, what's your channel? I, and that's happened only one other time with Sholo. And so now Sholo Maraduania and Finn Wolfhard have heard the name Filmstock. But it's been really cool. A lot of people have been walking around near the Stranger Things area and they've been like, hey, come to the panel tomorrow. So very pumped about that. I know you guys, obviously, this will shout be after. But shout out to every single one of you guys who's supported me, said hello. Here. I mean, it's been awesome to meet a lot of you guys. I hope to meet many more of you at the panel, which I'll have a full video recording of on the channel at some point. But yeah, it's going to be a blast tomorrow. We're tired and hungry. Probably going to just shop around a bit, but we've met Finn and Gaten. I was literally shaking after we met Gaten. Oh, yeah. It was, was such a cool interaction. He's such an awesome dude. A few moments later. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Okay. I'm Kamal. And you guys said you saw Stranger Things at First Shadow, right? Yes. yes. Let's hear your thoughts. It was amazing. It was epic. Um, bye, we just bye. saw it like two weeks ago. We just came back from London. Honestly, I'm also an actor, so the acting oh, so aside cool. from everything, yeah. yes, was just amazing. I felt like some of these characters were really believable. Some, I was surprised how they acted in the past versus mm -hmm. how they act in, uh, I would say, 1986. Overall, amazing. My thoughts are there are a lot of things in the play that the Duffer Brothers did say that would not really affect season five, but it is good that we saw the play to give a little acknowledgement yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. season five. So I well, have to say you don't have to watch it, but it is that's it gives a little hit here because yes. I was like, how am I gonna get to see this before the new season? Yeah, that's cool you guys got to see it. I hope it does come to the US, like on a tour at some point. Oh, right. I was um, thinking, right. what if Netflix streamed it and then right before Super season Super smart. Super smart, like Hamilton, like a high quality yeah. drama recorder. They need because to do they're this. producing yeah. it. Awesome to meet you guys. Thank and you um, awesome yeah, too. thanks for joining. Day four, coming soon. The next day. We were out here for day four, the final day of MegaCon, and behind us is the creator stage. As you can see, we're taking it in less than an hour. Stranger Things Season 5 Theories from the Upside Down panel with a spinning wheel and everything. Full thing we posted later, but it's going down, isn't it? I'm excited. They got the AC cranking. Love it. So it's, it's about to go down. You guys can watch the full panel link somewhere at some point. Here we go. This is where the fun begins. See you guys after the panel. So we're on the creator stage prior to the Stranger Things Season 5 panel. I'm with Sean Chandler. How you doing? Hey! <laughs> question. Okay, gotcha. Favorite Stranger Things character? Hopper. Hopper. Easy. Easy? Yeah. It's no question Hopper for me. A lot of great characters, a lot of little personal favorites, but as for like character art, yes. who you yes. resonate with? Hopper. I'm middle aged there, works. It's my he's my age. favorite too, but he's tied with this guy, Steve, always the babysitter. What? Steve's great. I got I got an Eddie Munson Eddie shirt Munson. on that just did it <laughs> so much with so little screen time, made everyone yeah. fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. And but Dusty, I mean there's so many you could pick oh them gosh. so good. You could, yeah. Cam, we already know your answer, I think. We may not. Favorite Stranger Things character? Max. Second favorite? Eddie. There we go. <laughs> you <laughs> no, know yeah. it's always been Max. It though. is Max. Max rules. Will she live or die in this final season? Will she be a vessel for Vecna? We'll find out in this panel. I say we just start this thing. What do you guys think? You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. I don't remember the last time we updated everyone, but I'm exhausted. We've been walking around since the panels. We're walking and I'm tired. I'm actually exhausted, mentally and physically. Stranger Things Pop Hall. I'll show you guys later at the hotel. A few moments later. I'm about to get a Finn Wolfhard photo op. I'll show you guys a picture after. In line for a Gaten photo now. I'll show you after. A few moments later. Let's watch Andrew, aka with fellow, go to work at the cards, the magic man. Here we go. Okay. Card was a joker because the joker's a 
was the other one. All right, this is what you're going to do. You're going to whisper the name of your card to the Joker. You're going to tell them what it is out loud. I don't want to hear it, so whisper. Go. I, I like that we just decided to do this right when they are screaming. <laughs> one's on top, one's on bottom. All right? You guys are somewhere in here? One. Three, two, one. Just like that, they catch your card. Sweetheart, hold on your hand. If I take this card and I put it in your hand, where does it go? Put it right there, put your other hand on top, and you're trying to get the Queen of Hearts out of your hand. Ready? One, two, three, I just got it. What's in there? You can look. Watch the Joker, we'll make, we'll make the Queen of Hearts come back. Watch, just like that. Maybe one more really quick one. That is Sean's card, the Queen of Hearts. This is your card, the Queen of Hearts. I want you to take this card, use your finger, and push it in the middle. Push it in. <laughs> We're leaving MegCon right now. Both of us are flat out exhausted. Huge haul slash final recap at the hotel room. A few hours later. We are back from MegaCon day four, the final day of MegaCon. This is a haul video slash sort of recap of the entire thing. You've seen me talk about a lot of this stuff already, but some things you haven't seen. I will start with the autograph Funko Pops. We got four, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, we'll just start with what you guys have already seen. But as you can see right here, Cam is the Vanna White, as they say. <laughs> Um, it's an old school reference to Wheel of Fortune. Oh, am I the little yes. girl? I'm the girl with the... You are the girl with the letters. We've got... <laughs> Marty McFly, signed by Michael J. Fox, as you guys can see right here. And then over here, Christopher Lloyd, signed... Mm, I can't speak right now. <laughs> Sorry. And then over here, we've got Doc Brown, signed by Christopher Lloyd. I can't wait to put these two in the background of all my videos. They look iconic next to each other. They are an iconic duo. Um, and these lines are some of the longest I've ever waited in lines, but it's worth it. Once in a lifetime type deal, I feel. It's rewarding. It taught me patience. I don't have patience. Cam, you can, can you please admit that I don't have patience? The most impatient man or human <laughs> I've ever met in my life. Yep, and so it was. It took a lot out of me, but we got there. I almost broke down in tears, I swear. It was like hour four of Christopher Lloyd's line. I was like, we're never gonna get out of here. We did, and now it's been a few days, and it's like, in the grand scheme of things, it's very minuscule. Um, but anyway, we also got to meet some Stranger Things folks, which you guys saw the video of. I'll link it up above. Um, that footage is also in this video, but that's dedicated specifically to just meeting them. We met Gaten Matarazzo, who plays Dustin, as you can see right here, and Finn Wolfhard, who plays Mike. Uh, got their season four pop sign. This is Dustin with thinking cap. This is Mike with his Hellfire shirt. Finn signed in red. Gaten signed in purple. Shout out Cam because the purple looks better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, we got our own paint pens this time around. Sharpie brand. Two and, podcast um, episodes ago, somebody was saying that my color degree, dare I say, wasn't um, necessary. Saying, what's your color class ever going to do for mm -hmm. you? And what did it do? Taught you how to buy pens off Amazon pretty well. <laughs> All right, next we've got the last autograph pop that I got at this con, and that is from John Rice Davies, or John Reese Davies, but I've always said John Rice Davies. He's the man, he plays Sala in Indiana Jones. This pop is from The Last Crusade. He signed in orange, and then he wrote, avoid bad dates on the side. Obviously, he catches the date in Raiders and says, bad dates. Iconic, super nice dude, and um, it was great to talk to him. So yeah, we got this, and we're probably gonna meet him again in a few days at Atlanta Comic Con. For those of you gonna be at Atlanta Comic Con, let us know in the comments down below. Hopefully we see you there. But uh, that does it for the autograph pops that I acquired. If you want to see there it is actually i was gonna plug here but still if you want to see more of this cam has a vlog of the entire trip as yeah well. long story short my friend surprised me with a sebastian stan autograph funko pop which is super cool yes and her knowledge of bucky barnes came in handy with that <laughs> you'll see if you watch my video yeah go watch her video it's linked down below and somewhere up above here maybe and as you guys know we are just big stranger things pop collectors in general our goal is to catch them all eventually right have them all and so we went to gorilla lobster that's my favorite pop store to go to my booth that i like to uh frequent at these conventions and we got a few neat ones, just common, or some of these exclusives technically. This, this first one is Vecna from season four, Hot Topic exclusive glow in the dark. And this is gonna match really well with my Henry slash 01 pop, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive of him holding his hand up. Um, they'll go next to each other in my collection. And I didn't have this Vecna, but I wanted it when it came out. Super cool detail right there. Um, this is, I believe when he's on fire mm -hmm. after they Molotov cocktail his ass. <laughs> this next one is Brenner from season one, a little bit of box damage. 
not the end of the world. Um, we just had to have Brenner. Papa is a classic Stranger Things character, and I want to get all the season one pops. We're almost there. We got to get Jonathan with camera. That'd be the one we get him to sign if he ever goes to a con, by the way. Next, we got two of the four Ghostbuster Funko Pops. I have been wanting the Ghostbuster Funko Pops for a while because many reasons. Um, number one, I love season two. Number two, I already have Max in her Michael Myers costume and it's my favorite Funko Pop that I own pretty much. And so I've wanted the Ghostbuster boys to like match her. Yeah. And three, I love the Ghostbusters franchise. So it's like two birds, one stone, love the Ghostbusters, love Stranger Things. So we got Ghostbuster Lucas and Ghostbuster Will. We just need Ghostbuster Mike and Ghostbuster Dustin. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. 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 And I also got- I ain't afraid no ghost, A. Eh? You know? Yeah. I also got this Gwen Stacy Fungal Pop in her iconic uh, comic outfit. Where is she now? Where you're about to be. <laughs> That does it for all the Funko Pops though, and now the rest is an artwork haul. If you guys have followed me before or seen the Comic Con vlogs, we frequent this artist named Adam's Art Box. Follow him on Instagram, please. He's the best. And uh, we kind of went hard because I'm going to redo my movie room, I think, with just basically his art of my favorite movies and shows. And so we got, I want to say, almost 10 prints from him. Um, and he's just the man. So yeah, this first one is from Jaws. You guys can see right here, we've got Bruce the Shark, as I like to call him. And um, there's the orca up top, and it's just beautiful. We've got the sunset in the background, the water looks clean, the blood on the shark's teeth. And um, Jaws is one of my favorite Spielberg flicks. I try and watch it every 4th of July, since this is like commemorating my love for that film. So, had to get this, and I've eyed this one in the past. Like, he has booklets out front of his art, and I scroll past this one, I'm like, that's gonna come home with me eventually. This weekend, it was the case. This next one is Iron Man. It's called Hearts of War, and as you can see, Iron Man's heart is in there, and it's just really cool. It's like an explosion of color. Throw a little hot rod red in there, some black. It looks clean, and Iron Man's my favorite MCU character. So, of course, I was going to get this, and I'm probably going to put this framed near my Iron Man Funko Pops. I sort of have a progression of his pops from movie one with the Mark I all the way to the snap in Endgame. So, had to get this. Next, we've got some Stranger Things Season 3 artwork. It's called The Never Ending Story. Two, Turn. Th <laughs> Two three, four. Turn around. Look at what you see in your face. The mirror of a dream. Scene. We won't do the rest to spare you, but no. Oh, this is. We kind of were. This is. Uh, you can see Dustin and everything going on here. There's the moon. It's awesome. And um, I want to get all this guy's training things artwork. He's the man. This next one is Hopper season three. And the reason I got this is because I've cosplayed as this version of Hopper many a time now on the podcast and we went to the training things experience. Plus Hopper is my 1A, 1B favorite. Him and Steve are like tied. I can literally not pick a favorite. Um, and I just love this. So I had to do it. And last for me, always the babysitter. We've got Steve Harrington right here. Again, I've seen this print many a time in person from him. I just said today it's got to be the day. I got three training things prints from him because we went, did a Stranger Things panel, Stranger Things was the big focus, and I was like, let's let's commemorate this with, you know, getting this awesome artwork. So as you can see, there's a Scoops Ahoy um, patch here. There's a family video patch, some other cool little Easter eggs there. This is beautiful. Cam's gonna speed run hers. If you want an in-depth look at her art that she picked up, you can check out her vlog. All right, I'm gonna hand him off to you. All right. First up, we've got the Cats of Disney. You guys know me, I love cats. Here we go. Yes, sir. I got Ecto-1, like I said, I love the Ghostbusters movies and I realized at this con I don't really have anything Ghostbusters related, so I bought that. Very nice. Next, we have Maleficent. Another thing, if you don't know about me, my one of my favorite Disney movies of all time is Sleeping Beauty, borderline my favorite Disney movie of all I'd time. I'd say it's favorite. It's the one I watch the most, for sure. Um, so I got this nice Maleficent to go with the other Sleeping Beauty artwork I already have from Adam's art box. Next, we have Buckbeak. Buckbeak. Be beautiful little painting of Buckbeak. Which Adam's art box actually gave this one to us for free because he was so like, thank you guys for the support. He's a cool dude. Next, we have this one of Harry Potter, the Sika. Um, this is one of his new ones. Beautiful, gorgeous, love her. And last but not least, my favorite, because hey, another thing you might not know about me, my favorite part of the Harry Potter universe is the magical creatures. So of course I had to get this Niffler. The Fantastic my Beast, dare I say. My second favorite magical creature is a Niffler. My first one is a bow truckle, in case you were wondering. So I had to get this Niffler with the golden snitch. He is so cute. Love him. And the last thing we got was some Her Universe merch. For those who don't know what this is, we'll show you and then we'll tell you who it's from. I got this Mandalorian hoodie. You can see Mando helmet, the chest plate, and then on the back, the dark saber. Cam got one as well of Ahsoka. Ahsoka. 
You can see the sleeves look like her tendrils or hair or whatever you want to call it. I wore Velocity Coast for the first time wearing this. I will always remember that. But no, this is from Ashley Eckstein who plays Ahsoka. She voices the character in Clone Wars and Rebels. And she launched a dope merch line. Uh, they also had a Rex crew neck. I almost pulled the trigger on it, but I didn't. Her universe is some of the coolest Star Wars merch. It's just, sure. yeah, it's just... I love, like, original merch. Not, like, just a copy paste of like the poster or something or it's embarrassing you know, a generic, to Disney merch. It frankly it is. Embarrasses the frankly crap is. out of Disney Yes, one hundred percent. But yeah, that does it for our haul of the Funko Pops we got signed, the Funko Pops we bought, the merch, some artwork. So yeah, that does it for that side of things. But as far as sort of the overall convention goes, it was one of the, if not the best experience, I'd say, as a content creator in my entire life. I mean we got to headline a Stranger Things panel, us and Sean Chandler, and just all weekend and all week, the support from you guys coming saying hello, saying kind words about the channel, telling me your story about your support of Filmstocked truly means the world because behind the scenes, you guys don't know, I mean, you see the videos and they're polished and edited, but you don't get to see sort of the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into everything. I mean, truly, it's, I do, I don't talk about it a lot, but I do pour my heart into this. And so to meet you guys and see how much you enjoy it and to hear stories of, oh, I, you know, I work in an office job and I love watching your videos or my family loves watching your Stranger Things theories. Like it truly warms my heart to no end. And I'm not just saying that. Genuinely, thank you for the support. It allows me to keep doing this. And I, lo I love you guys. I really do. So thank you for making, you know, this possible. And MegaCon was an unforgettable experience for me. I think you echo the same sentiment. I agree. Yeah, it was truly awesome. And I hope to do this at future cons as well. Um, but if you're at the Stranger Things panel, thank you. If you come and said hello at any point, thank you. And if you just watch this video, thank you guys so much. Again, the panel will be posted either before this or after this. The full thing in all of its glory. You guys can check that out if you were not able to make it to MegaCon. But that was a blast. And the whole weekend in general was so, so much fun. Even the Universal After Hours event. So fun. So fun. I, I rode Velocicoaster for the first time. I also Ooh. rode it for the first time. Ooh. I'm a coaster guy, and I said I wasn't. I'm a coaster guy. I'm not, but I had to do it so he would yeah. do it. But now that's how I am. I'm a chicken, and then I go on it, and I'm like, oh, I love it. I don't do it again. But tomorrow, we're going to do Tower of Terror four oh, yeah. times. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, we're going to rest tomorrow. Hollywood Studios, rest. It'll be a fun, relaxing day. Get some blue milk and chill, but then it's back to business as usual. I'll probably have a live stream recapping the trip and everything, and then we're right back at it with another con, Atlanta Comic Con. So if you guys are there, come say hello. We'd love to meet you. But that's going to do it for the Megacon vlog. Hit that like button, subscribe to that notification bell. Go check out Cam's full vlog. But yeah, that'll do it. Thank you guys again. And until next time, we'll see you guys on the other side of the Upside Down.